Alright, so now here at the viewing platform... A report, Master Link. I've detected the aura of a trial gate. If you can pinpoint at the origin of this aura using dowsing, I conjecture you the song you learned the Isle songs will activate it. Whatever. So, make sure you save at this point if you haven't already. Yes, save here at Farron Woods. Oh, because we are going to go do some very stressful things in this game. So, okay, if I can climb up here, and if we douse down here, you might notice there's some butterflies down here in the middle of this little area. And some weird misty smoke that we can target. And if we pull out our harp and play, we will activate the p platform. <laughs> I can't, I'm so nervous right now, I can't even talk. This platform that we will play Ferrari's Courage. Oh, come on, I'm not messing up. Yeah, you know when you're messing up when these little petals or those little beams of light are not actually coming down because Fee waits for you. She's like, come on, come on, play in tempo. But I am playing in tempo. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous right now. These trials are probably one of the more nerve-wracking things I've ever had to do in a video game. And if you haven't played this game, or if you have played this game, then I I really hope you guys appreciate <laughs> uh, my method about going through these trial gates, because I'm going to try to do this in the less, least stressful way possible, and probably most efficient way possible. Anyway, to activate the trial, just thrust your sword down. For something that's that cool, you have no idea what you're getting into until you actually do it. Yes. Um. Yeah, this is the tr this is the trial of Farron Woods. This is Ferrari's trial. Master Link. As expected, I cannot follow you into this realm, for this trial caused out of everything. This is the nature of the place known as the Silent Realms. They are domains of the spirit as some, as, 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 blah, 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 blah. This particular trial, Ferrari's Silent Realm, tests your limits of your courage. Your spirit is temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. And when they do they, when they, when they do say spiritual growth, you actually do grow a little bit when actually playing this game. Yes, you grow weak from stress. That's how you spiritually grow. You just a little bit of you dies every time you play this little trial thing, or you do one of these trials. And this is not the only trial that we're going to be doing. As you know, we're going to have to go collect three sacred flames, so we have to do three spirit silent realm trials. Master, do you see the glowing object just in front of you? That is a tier of Ferrari. You will need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not as simple task as it would seem. The reason why it's not simple... The moment you step out of this circle, the Guardians... There are numerous Guardians throughout each Silent Realm. They will be activated. Guardians, when they get activated, they play this creepy, creepy music that gets your heart pounding, and they can KO you in one hit. If you get KO'd, or if you get knocked out by getting hit by one of these Guardians, then you'll have to restart the entire trial from the very beginning. The only way you can actually succeed is to collect all 15 tiers. Now, as you can clearly see, that little flower above our spirit gauge or vessel has just died. So the moment you collect a tear, the flower will return and the guardians will go back to sleep. Now you only have 90 seconds between each tear to collect the next one, otherwise the flower will wilt away and the guardians will awake again. Now you can collect these life fruits to activate beacons to show you where the rest of the tears are. Unfortunately, that is these life fruits, they will only activate these beacons for 30 seconds. So if you really need to place some markers, you can do that, I think. But I don't know if it works. I've never actually really used the beacons. Um, I mean, I never really placed any markers myself. But anyway. Yes. 
Now, besides collecting the tiers in the Silent Realms, there are a few other things that we want to collect. Mainly one other thing. And I'm right now looking for it, and I can't find it, because apparently someone said that there is a certain item here that you can only find in... Oh, here it is. Alright. So, only in the Silent Realms can you find Dusk Relics. These are the... Amber Relic clones, but unfortunately these are very, very, very rare to find, because you can only find them in Silent Realms, and since you only will be in Silent Realms for, like, a small percentage of time, you will never really be able to collect a lot of these. Now, the reason why you want to collect the Dusk Relics... Oh, well anyway. Well, let me just say this. The reason why you want to collect the Dusk Relics is because only certain items can be upgraded using Dusk Relics. And the items that can be upgraded using Dusk Relics are highly recommended to be upgraded. So, you want to collect at least 8 Dusk Relics while you're in here, or at least 6. If you can collect more than 6 while you're in this Silent Realm, then you're pretty good for like the entire game. Now, this pink liquid, where water would normally be, is called Waking Water. This should be a Dusk Relic, by the way. For some, for, for some reason, it's a goddess plume. Well, anyway, if you walk into Waking Water, as it's, the name suggests, it will wake up all the guardians around you, regardless if you have still time on your flower meter. Yes, I'm going to call it the flower meter. But anyway, the reason why I want to do that and not activate it once I collected the tiers, otherwise I would have to run around and collect the tier, another tier before the guardians hit me. So you have to kind of be a little bit strategic about this whole Silent Realm area, and the the hardest thing about these things is that you just can never have a place where you get stuck at. You always want to leave some open room for yourself so you can, like, find one easy tier to get if, in case if you wake up a guardian. So I left that one tier over there. I know there's a guardian right next to it, but it's a pretty easy tier to get. And if I'm ever running out of time, I will just be able to... It'll be easy for me to just run over and grab it without having to worry too much about climbing or swinging from vines or doing some weird other stuff that we're gonna have to do in the Silent Realm. So over here there's another Dusk Relic. Alright, so there's a tier, there are actually two tiers up here. Or I mean there, at least I see two beacons. I know there's one tier up here. Alright, so this would be, this, you could consider that one to be an easy one to pick up, but I would just normally just get it out of the way. Um, alright, so I have three Dusk Relics, alright. So the hardest tiers to get in this area, unfortunately, all deal around with the tree. There's one over here on the past the tightrope. You would normally have a piece of heart here in the regular world, but in the Silent Realm, you'll have a tier. So I would suggest getting this one. Um, it's one of the harder ones. Well, I mean, you have to get it anyway, but I would suggest getting it first, or one of the first few ones. Um, the point is you want to make yourself like a path all the way back to the starting circle. So if you can find a way to like do that like I'm doing, then you won't have any problem whatsoever to get back to the starting point. Because once you collect all the tiers, you won't have a meter counting down like time until the guardians wake up. You'll have as much time as you want to just walk around and explore collecting dusk relics or anything. But the problem is if you get caught by guardians, there's nothing to prevent the Guardians from attacking you. You just have to make a mad dash all the way back to the um, starting circle so you don't get killed and have to redo it because that would suck. And yes, if you <laughs> if you do get killed once you get all 15 tiers, you will have to do this whole thing all over again. Alright. So, I mean, I'm not really making this seem too bad right now. I mean, you could be being really careless and trying to do this really fast, but you actually have way more time than you think you do. So if you have enough tiers already as it is, just stay calm. Um, of course on your map they'll mark the location of the tiers that you just collected. But at the same time you can also place beacons where you think there are tiers and you can't physically see them other than they're beacons. So, I haven't been down here so there is a tier here but be careful with this one. Um, it's pretty tricky because they programmed waking water to rise in and out from the platform. So once you collect the tier, make sure you make a dash out of that area so you don't um, hit the waking water. Uh, for first time I, play, I was playing the Silent Realm, I unfortunately didn't know about the waking water. I saw the tier, and then the moment, 
like, I grabbed a tear, I started to run out, and then I touched the waking water, and then I had to find another tear somewhere. I don't even remember where I got the other tear, but... I think it was over here, but... Anyway. Um, another way that you can wake up the Guardians is if you activate one of those Watchers. Uh, the Watchers, they will be alerted to your presence if you make too much noise or if you run too close to them. So just keep your distance from them. Walk very slowly, if need be, to not alert them. Um, never really get too close to them. So, um... I'm right now looking at the map I made myself of all the tiers and which ones I still have yet to grab. So, we're actually pretty much done in this area, so just walk around the Watchers and just make sure you don't awaken the Guardians. Alright, so there's one tier over here, and this is actually where we kind of know. I think there's one tier left. Actually, I'm not sure, but we need to be heading over in this direction anyway, as it is. Alright. I also think I have enough uh, Dusk Relics, but there are a few Dusk Relics over here. Um, do, 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 there is... I need to go up here. Okay. Sorry, I just need to make sure I'm not like going around in circles to places I've already been. Alright. Okay, there's a tier there. And this Watcher is really, really close. Alright, I've lured the Watcher. Um, in order to make sure you don't get caught by them, um, if you alert them, just dash away, away from them as far as, po as fast as possible, but anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna alert this Watcher, show you guys what happens once they catch you. Yep, the Guardians are awake, so, I mean, there's nothing really I could do about it, but I mean, um, the cool thing that happens, actually, it's a bit of a speedrunning trick. Um, if you happen to wake up the Guardians, either by, like, touching Waking Water, or running out of time, or even using a Watcher to, like, catch you, uh, your, your stamina gauge actually refills immediately. I don't know if the game designers did that on purpose, so that it'd be a little bit fair to you to, like, be able to run away from the Guardians, or not, um, but it is a speedrunning tactic that uh, a lot of gamers use in these areas to get some good times. Or to just at least complete these places a little bit faster. Um, more about the time stuff later. Um, it's not really relevant right now, but... Just want to talk about the trick. Just That's just all. Alright. So we only have three tiers left. Um, I believe I have... Six Dusk Relics. I don't know, I didn't really check it that much. Alright, so there's one more Dusk Relic over there. I That could be my eighth one, but I don't really want to risk having to awaken this Guardian. And I'm almost about to run out of time on my flower, just waiting for these Watchers. Oh, come on! That guy just changed his path without even me like, realizing it. Alright, I'm just going to forget that Dusk Relic. Yep. And as the flower counts down, you can definitely hear the music playing it's like a it's really tense music and the the green starts becoming more orangish yeah it's pretty frightening but anyway we have two tiers left and still I'm looking for dusk relics and I really don't know where I there should be one here or at least that's what the one of the guides I was looking at said um, and I'm talking about reading guides I only really read the guides for locations of treasures that I've missed on my own journey or in my own practice run. Um, I don't really use the guide for solving puzzles or getting through dungeons. I do that all on my own. Um, because, I mean, I've already done it before. Anyway, so here's one tier. And the last tier... Um, I probably should have left that... Um, this tier that I just collected here last, because it's probably the easiest one that you can get. Because that last one over there, we have to bypass a Watcher as well as a Guardian. So, uh, I don't really want to risk it, but I mean, I have to. That's the only tier that's left before I complete this trial. And I know that if I collect that tier, I'm going to have to make a mad dash to the circle, because I'm going to be running out of time otherwise. 
Uh, so I might as well just like spend the rest of the time I have, like the 90 seconds that I have, just looking for any more dusk relics that I've missed. Um, I'm, I'm really sure I've missed one over here. I mean, it would be a good spot to put a dusk relic, but... <clears throat> yeah, so there's a guardian here and a watcher. Not ideal for the last location of a tier, but you know what? Just because I've been really kind to you guys this entire Silent Realm and I've made it seem really easy and not really tense at all, I'm gonna be cruel. I'm gonna be cruel to myself and I'm gonna be cruel to you guys. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Yep, I'm gonna risk it. I've got all the time in the world I want right now to find any Dusk Relics or anything. I've already picked up the ones that I think I already know of. There should have been one in this tree, but there was a stupid Goddess Plume. So, you know what, I, I I think I have enough Dusk Relics. I'm pretty sure of it. But, never hurts to check, because I do want those Dusk Relics. Anyway. So, now that we have all 15 of Ferrari's tears, how about let's go wake up some Guardians. Let's go have some fun. Alright, come on, Watcher. Seriously, I'm running right by you, and you're not even, like, alerted to me. Alright, there's a Guardian right behind me. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? I made it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> My heart is beating, actually. Even though I knew I was doing that, but whatever. Oh, it's fun. Having some fun with those Guardians. And, for collecting all 15 tiers, we got the Water Dragon Scale. Now we can swim underwater! Yay! Woo! One down, two more trials to go.